His Eminence has just received word from Rome of the death of our Holy Father, Pope John Paul. I shall soon be going too. Now, Frantisek, I thought we promised to outlive each other. Hmm? Tell Sister Yadvega I'd like to see her. Pope, for only 33 days. What is God saying to us? They found him in his bed this morning. They're calling it a massive stroke. The press is asking for a statement. No, no. Later, later. Every Pole, whatever his views, suffers a personal loss at the death of this Pope. Has the Vatican said when they'll announce the funeral mass? It's Wednesday. The Cardinals are to assemble in conclave ten days after, on the 14th. Two weeks from tomorrow. Call Cardinal Wyszynski, ask him if I may join him in Rome on Monday. Eminence. Two weeks? Why so fast? Last time they didn't call the conclave for three weeks. They don't want to leave the church without a leader. They don't want confusion. Or the time to find another man like John Paul? Hey, no, you! No. Let them play. Conservatives did not bargain for what they got in him. He opened the doors. Open the monotony, Kavai. In two weeks, we shall start again. There's no room for tiredness, even for the very old. He will enable our fading eyes to see what comes from our bodies and souls and make us as transparent as glass. Great events taking place that can give to them or steal all they possess. And they don't even know it's happening. Isn't it always the way? Come on, come on. So high one up, slow back, come on. I've got it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To me, to me, to me. Head on, 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 now come along. Off you go. Engaged. How old is she? Twenty. My God, man, that's middle life. <laughs> what do you want to settle down for? It's an old man's farm he's after. <laughs> what you like. It's no more of that for me. Boggles up the cows haven't been milked yet. What's he going to do? Open a shop. What kind of shop? Well, a new shop. Listen to him. <laughs> what about you? I'm going to Warsaw. Warsaw? Did I tell you? <laughs> You're joking. What are you going to do in Warsaw? I don't know yet. University, maybe. Maybe law. He thinks his views are too big for this place. Yeah. What are you going to do, Lolik? Lolik? He'll go to his mountains and quote poetry. Or teach the pretty girls how to ski. No, <laughs> he'll be a writer. How about an actor? Uh, silence, please, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now going to quote something from Norvid. Fact is, I don't know anything from Norvid. Uh, you'll never get anything out of it. You'll make a game out of everything. <laughs> what if Hitler has taken Austria? It's only brothers coming together. 
Let him have us, dear. Give me another. Moyek, you know your own rule for the second bottle. I go on duty early in the morning. It'll be here as usual. We beat the Germans in 1918 and the Russians in 20. We did the work of okay, and all of us did. You know, we ate starving dogs. More value to us than the Jews, I can tell you. We patched ourselves up. God was on our side, and we blew them away. Like cobwebs in the wind. Bogoslav, the cows haven't been milked yet. Say hello to your father, Lolek. To your parents, Theodore. Yes, Mrs. Banners. Thank you, Mr. Banners. The world looks differently at us, Banners. Goodbye. They'll think twice before they cross Poland's borders again. Bless us, O Lord, and these gifts which we receive from your goodness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, how went the day, Lalek? Father Zari ran a soccer playing soccer against the church wall. Well, why would you do that? The infantry had taken over the field. Ah. I must always show sympathy for marching soldiers. Even German soldiers? The Dramatic Society are putting on a new play. I'm to have the leading role. You still have your school evening exams to prepare for. Dr. Stramick expects you to graduate at the top of your class. I have my bi-monthly grades. They're excellent. Your mother would have been very proud of you. No, no. Not to look back is worse. I knew you were only nine, but don't ever forget her. Good to look back. You can see how far you've come, which way you're going. You've got something on your mind? You're afraid to tell me? No, no. see a crab. Why, here's no crab, and therefore look not south. There is, there is. Then show me. Had I a glass, I would. What? You mean my face? Well aimed of such a young one. Oh, now, by St. George, I am too young good, for you. Yet you are withered. Ah, is with he is not just good. Not. He is very, he very good. Thy beauty that doth make me like thee well. <laughs> thou must be married to no man but me. I am he. I'm born to tame you, Kate. To bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable as other household Kates. <laughs>
nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. In troibo ad altare Deum. A Deum qui latificat juventutum meum. Thank you, Casimir. Lulek. Archbishop Zapieja is coming down from Krakow for graduation. Would you give the welcoming address? Thank you, Father Zary. Of course. I've known you since I first came here. It's just before your brother died. But do you remember what you said when I asked you about it? It's God's will, you said. Yes, you've always been devout. You served on the altar at Mass every morning. Or a leader. Have you thought about the priesthood? I don't know that I'm worthy. Nobody knows that. How could they? You know the world very little. We don't miss much of life. At times. I have thought of it. I think there's every indication that God is asking you to serve him. Ask for guidance in your prayers. Yes, Father. After 20 years, I said, all right, I should be pleased to retire. That's what you ask. I smiled when I said it, but I wasn't smiling. Theodore was going to Warsaw. Huh? What great new decisions has he made for himself? He wants to be a lawyer. Stefan is going to be married, work a farm. Boga's love wants to open a shop. But Teodor won't find it any easier for Jews in Warsaw. They're all so sure. I don't know what I want. Am I in your way? No, no. no. Well, my pension comes to me wherever I go. I just don't know where my interests lie. I don't know how to decide. Bargain wisely with everything you encounter. Hmm? Hold your faith in God. And don't be afraid to stand out. Dad will jingle his keys in his pockets. Mother will cry and rustle her skirts. Theodor Kravik, cum laude. <laughs> For what? Dad and I were talking. Did you hear the radio? Hitler wants the Sudetenland. It's part of Czechoslovakia, just over these hills. Do you think he'll want something else? Officer Moyer says we have the greatest cavalry in Europe. Officer Moyer says lots of things. He was drunk that day. He's the least of it. Once. I went over to Stefan's. We're friends. There were some other boys there. They called me Jew Boy. They tore my coat. Stefan too? Yes, Stefan. It's ignorance. Exactly the opposite of what Christ taught. I feel sorry for him. He's ignorant. I can't wait to leave this place. Well, not this place. Not here. You've been like a brother to me, Lola. I mean it.
You know what I hear? In Warsaw, they don't stare at each other. They're too discreet. Stare them right in the eye. It is man's actions, his conscious acts, which we consider today on becoming men, that make him what and who he actually is. The fundamental significance of man's freedom forces us to see in freedom that special self-reliance which goes together with self-determination. When we search deep into the integral structure of moral conduct, we find within it the proper moment of freedom. Freedom is not only a moment, it is a condition of happiness. It forms the roots of man's becoming good or bad by his actions. To deprive a man of his freedom is to endanger his happiness. Freedom becomes the root of human morality. To say that, that man is free means that I he think we'd ever make a priest of him. Himself, I really don't know. All. I don't think so. And also our understanding of He's in love with the theatre. And, and he's enrolled in Polish literature at Ulat in Krakow. He's moving there with they his father. Very great pity. I did it! I made that shot, boys, and I did it! I've milked my last cow. Until morning, you have. <laughs> this is going to be a party. Who's for it? Yes! yes! What's on the menu? Paul's blood. You'll take beer and like it. Chubiettes. Me too. A vodka. Ooh, vodka. Here's what you have. <laughs> hey! Hey! hey. We beat the Germans in 1918. We beat the Russians in 20. The devil sends them for us. We'll blow them away like cobwebs in the wind. Moliak is a fool. Kaczynski is here. I told him you were on your way to the airport. He is the government minister for church affairs. He says it's important. I told him five minutes. All right. Five minutes. Eminence. Minister. You got my note of sympathy. Uh, yes, yes, I did. Thank you, thank you. I do remind you that your late Pope Paul stood ready to serve Polish society with the fullest cooperation of the church. Mm, though the Polish government is still not uh, ready to grant full legal rights to the church. It is a hope of the government always that through mutual understanding uh, we can deepen the questions. Mm, plenty of soft words, few concrete results. The Cardinal has to be at the airport in less than an hour. Senior. Um, eminence. You have, I do believe, heard of the revival of the flying universities? Which teaches things the government would prefer it not to. Meetings in private rooms, often as many as 150. So many? We have it on good authority that your bishops pledge their support at your encouragement. A nation has the right to learn the objective truth about itself. Why, for example, that their history books make no reference to the 19th century Russian occupation or the Nazi Russian pact in 1939. These are not church matters. If society is so constituted as to prevent people from achieving knowledge of themselves, the church must step in. But may I remind you that many of these dissidents are atheists, not Catholics. 
They are Poles. And Poles have been in the church's hands for a thousand years before communism. Eminence, the police do not like the new development. Householders on whose premises these lectures are given will be arrested and fined as much as a month's salary. On what grounds? That the overcrowding contravenes the safety and health regulations. There is no such violation if meetings are held in church. See what we can make available. I have my flight. You're a very vigorous and critical adversary, Eminence. Your ties with the ruling moderates in the Vatican give weight to your authority. But I'm reminded of another time, not so long ago, when neither you nor the Church of Poland had the support of Rome that you have now. It is my understanding that the threat of the arch-conservatives regaining control is very real. I should try not to hurt people's feelings. Now you have your ticket. You'll be having dinner tonight with Jerzy and Anna Loparic and Father Gora of the Polish College in Rome. Father Gora will meet you at the airport. And if he doesn't, I know what to do. Come faccio per andare a Roma. Have a good flight. find much. It's getting harder every day. Horses against tanks, lances against cannon. Our Air Force destroyed in two days. What's happening to Warsaw defies description? I'll get some breakfast. Will you eat what I brought? I left it in the kitchen. I'll get something at the university. Oh, yes, but what? Oh, Julius always has something. What's the name of that play the two of you did? You were very good. That's good we came to Krakow and that you go to the university. I'm going to be late. You really do toe the mark for that one professor. Grabowski. <laughs> Let's say the rosary before you go. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived of the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and dead and buried.
When did you start to drink? Oh, yes. With Marek and his friends. I used to drink with them. Now I like to do it here. In hiding? Then I can feel I'm being in two worlds, as it were. I cannot say it! What do you mean? It's a valid response from a woman in a state of decline. There is a saying somewhere, Julius, that a man writes a woman to excuse his own failings. It's wrong. She's right. Reason at last! Oh, the violins write the concerto, hmm? Why are we doing this, anyway? We're doing it because there's nothing else we can do. We're doing it because we have a play to put on. Where? The Germans have taken our theatre. They've closed the university. They've agreed to discuss reopening. They've called the faculty to meet with them at 7 o'clock in the morning. Do you still think they're going to debate it? What threat are students and teachers to them? Look, they are not going to reopen the university. Then why did they call the faculty? We're waiting. Not knowing what they're going to do with us. Carol, you turn to her. You have the next line. Don't give up. Anyone is capable of that. I don't know these new people, their thoughts, but I know what we are. That's the important thing. Not to forget a year from now what we used to be. That's not in the play. Faculty meeting. Archbishop Sabieha, Herr Governor General. Poles, like Jews, are untermenschen, subhumans. They have no right to life. But we intend to use some of them, the Slavs, not the Jews, as a workforce of the German Reich, educated only to the barest minimum, so that they can read their master's instructions and count to 100. The standard of life will be kept low and will not be permitted to rise. Priests will preach what we want them to preach. If any priest acts differently, we shall deal shortly with him. The task of the priest is to keep the Poles quiet, stupid, and dull-witted. Every educated person will be regarded as an enemy and marked down for destruction. Jews will be done away with. Students, to be regarded as such, 
Will it mean death or deportation to a quarantine camp or to forced labor in Germany? It will take time to get it organized, but I am nothing if not methodical. Work cards will be issued to verify employment. Anyone found without a work card will be instantly deported. Well? They shall make Poland a long forgotten name on the ancient map. My brother-in-law wants to work here, Kredinsky. Too many here already. Why should I do anything for your friend? He needs a work card, Krauser. How do I know that he can handle a sledge? Well, he's done it before. Where? The railroad. Pounding ties. Let's see your hands. Clearly, yes. You can see he's worked the railroad. I'll show you where you can start. these people? Jews from Auschwitz. We brought a trainload of them down from Chechanovitz. What was that you said just now about Chechanovitz, eh? You're spreading rumors. Your Arbeitskarte. Give me your work card. Excuse me. Guard, you didn't understand. Well, you don't understand Polish very well. I asked him to help me with the rocks. He said, Fileczka. It means just a minute. Yes, that's right. That, that's all I said. Well, here's my work card, if you want it. Carol, Psst, come here. Look, if you. 
you want to help. You know the Dudnicki quarter? Oh, I know it very well. Yeah, well, there's several, several Jewish families there, right? The Germans are coming to take them tomorrow. We've got to get them out quick, at daylight. We move them at daylight because it's easier. Other people on the streets. Now, here's the name and address of one of the families and where to send them. Now, you may have to reason with them. Some of them don't want to believe it. Look, don't endanger your own life. Take care. Good evening. May I speak with you? You always come to Mass. I've noticed. In the morning and evening. We go the same way. I'll just walk with you. Oh, my name is Jan Tironovsky. I'm told you work at the Solway chemical plant. I work in the quarry, breaking up rocks. But I'm being promoted to assistant shot fire. Yeah. Then we're in the same line of business. I work with machinery too. Sewing machines. I'm a tailor. Here's what I do. Come in, why don't you? I thought you might join our living rosary circle. We hold weekly meetings. We try to find some answers for ourselves. Another time. chance for a non-Italian, Your Eminence? What will the conclave be looking for? A cardinal who does not ski. None of the Italian cardinals ski. A pity. In Poland, 40% of the cardinals ski. But how can that be? There are only two cardinals in Poland. Fischinski counts for 60%. <laughs> Isn't it unbecoming for a cardinal to ski, Eminence? It is unbecoming for a cardinal to ski badly. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Jan, how are you? We need another John Paul. Where we find him? I'm not so sure, Carol. There's a backlash. They're saying we move too quickly, change too much. Everyone thinks the next pope will be an Italian from within the Curia. Who? Benelli. The newspapers are talking a lot about Siri, who resisted all the reforms of the Second Vatican Council from the day it was suggested. He's always wanted to end the madness Pope John started. Who else? In my opinion, it's only Benelli and Siri. The liberals haven't the votes to stop him. Unless they do. In which case... What? Cardinal Colombo from Milan's on record as saying they're prepared to elect a pope from anywhere in the world. For example, quoting Colombo, Cardinal Votiwa from Poland. 
it wouldn't be where I belong. Anyway, the job's impossible. It's cold up there on that mountain. It's not the cold. I come from different mountains. The world is bigger than Poland. The Vatican higher even than the Tatras. Tatras mountains mean a look upwards. For us, up at the heights, there are those who would turn the eyes of the Polish people to the ground. Nothing changes. The uniforms, a little subtlety. Everyone wants to shatter us like stones. But we're never obliterated. Mm, uh, have you noticed? The whole has always remained in the pieces. Mr. Teitelbaum? Yes? This is your identification. Your new name is Glasgow. How young you are. If anyone asks where you're going, you're taking Grandpa to the clinic. You believe this can be done? There are people who will take you in. Take in Jews? You've got to hurry. We'll be going to the country, Papa, for a few days. Gloves. The Aryans always wear gloves. Anything you find. What are your interests? Acting. Really? Have you acted? School plays mostly. Mm. At the moment, some friends and I are doing something different. We call it the Rhapsodic Theatre. Oh, that's new to me. Recitations from Polish playwrights and poets. We're trying to carry on the Polish tradition. Where do you perform? Private houses. Trying to make people become aware of their origins. Patriotism. But... Children taken from their parents and deported. Jews rounded up and sent God knows where. Schools, universities, seminaries closed down. 2,000 Polish priests missing or dead. What have we really got to offer anyone? We've got this. We've got to hold on to the faith that's in us, 
It's been a tradition with us for a thousand years. I have my faith. But where do I go? I feel... something slipping through my fingers. There's a place to go and a way to go. And God will show it. We meet on Tuesdays, six o'clock, here. It's getting late. You better make a run for it now. Have you read John of the Cross? The Spanish mystic. Yes, I've heard of him. Read it. I'll see you next week. Thank you. I like to pretend it's a German tank. I've just got a moment. I brought you something. Oh, sit down. We haven't had this since we left Vadovici. Oh, my father wouldn't believe it. How is he? Oh, he's better one day than the next. He says you've got to stop feeding us, but he eats everything you send us. <laughs> there, you see. I know how to take care of a man. think they have time enough. And then before they know it. And here we are, sitting at our ease at the Germans' expense. Everyone knows what you're doing. Taking Jewish families out of the ghettos, finding them places to hide. Is that what's keeping you away? That first day I saw you, you saw me too. Yes. What's happened?
all right for some people. The thing some people would do is just to get out of work. <laughs> I'll bet that truck's got a dent in it. I'll bet the driver thought he hit a bull. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'd, um, we'd better be getting back to work. See you soon, eh? See you in a couple of days. Nobody's snelling you in yet. Yes, well, I'd better come back to him. But... What about theatre work? Rehearsing a new performance. I'm holding on to the main part for you. It's only about it tomorrow morning. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's been a time for all of us. Try and get some rest. It's what I want to do. The acting. It's what I want to do with my life. Beneath vernal willows, there to dream like sleepy swans. Think. Think of us, O oh Poland of mine, when we shall be already gone. From the military high command, our German forces have today defeated the armies of France, following an overwhelming attack which has culminated in its complete surrender. Have we not made your name a prayer that weeps and a thunder that lightens? Yet enough that you but consider for a while how deep is the silence o'er our grave, how it seems of God accursed. But you will not forget Poland. Oh, holy one. What time is it? Seven. I hate to leave him alone this long. I'll give him his medicine first. I'll dish up the food. It's still warm. Do you know what I started to do? I'm writing again. You keep quiet about it, won't you? There's so much going on to try to make sure some kind of meaning out of all this madness. Can't one said we must remember what we were, what we are, and keep it in our memory long. That's Shakespeare, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can't foresee events, but damn it all, one has to one has to fulfill one's feeling of self-expression. Well, what am I saving it for? Huh? Father is dead. of perfection is a dark night, the soul on its path most humble its appetite. What do we learn from John of the Cross? 
It's in darkness that the soul finds God. After it has first rid itself of all delight of the senses. What have you decided? His name is Pavel. He's with the resistance. As considerate and polite as ever, Wojtyla. We've had our differences. In philology, we argued truth. Some truths can be proved in the classroom. Others only with victims. Who's with us? They live in the woods. They come out at night and kill, till they themselves are killed. It is the duty of every Pole to take part, to shed blood if need be. Think dying is proper for us? Sacrifices are demanded. That lead us where? I no longer worry about where it leads. Only in the causes of it all. The cause is what is ahead of us. This is ended. Quid nunc Christus, we ask. What does Christ want us to do? It's why we are here. We hold out our hands to it. Stupidity. Traitors. What do you fight for? You're not fighting at all. We have no time. Leszek. Who else? How old are you? I'm 22, Excellency. The last I heard, you wanted to be an actor. You have a promising career. I am called to serve God. To want to become a priest, you realize the interests you can no longer pursue. I would be pursuing my interest. With sufficient reassurances, the moderates might find Benelli acceptable. We would like to be sure that he sees the importance of a vastly expanded role for the Synod of Bishops. Here he does not find any expansion of the achievements of the Vatican Council acceptable. Perhaps if Benelli amended some of his views... Benelli knows how to read the signs of the day. Consultation, power sharing, openness to new ideas. He has made many enemies within the Curia. Surely Siri does not see himself as an electable candidate? He has enough support to block Benelli and any alternative non-Italian. He has friends in the press, and perhaps he can persuade enough of the uncommitted moderates to go along with him. So it's Benelli, possibly Siri, or some other Italian. Luciani, in the one month that he was Pope, he had the style of a simple parish priest. Where do we find a Pope of smiles? <laughs> 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 this particular day, there we were hiding in the cellar, five young seminarians, one of whom 
It's Carl, who is hiding from the Gestapo. Mm -hmm. By the floor above, Archbishop Sapir has feeding lunch to Herr Governor General. All he serves him is that vile black bread made of sawdust <laughs> the Germans <laughs> gave us to eat. <laughs> oh, how incredible to laugh about it now, eh? He was an incredible man. Adam Sapieha, he was never afraid of them. I'll tell you how incredible. Our seminary studies, this was still during the war, were all underground. I thought Sapieha brought you into the palace. That's the story. I'll tell you, I had a job, several of us did. If we didn't turn up for work, they'd be after us. So what made you go into hiding? The Warsaw Revolt in uh, late 44. The Germans retaliated, began rounding up every man between 15 and 50. Sapieha called his seminaries into the palace and hid us in the cellar till the end of the war. They'd have executed him if they'd known about him. What's happening? They're blowing the bridges up! The Germans are on the tree! I did not foresee an end like this. I thought the West would free us. Not the Russians. Excellency. Marshal Konyev. I'm instructed to convey my government's profound distribute. Executions, deportations, investigations, tortures. With all this, your opposition to the Nazis. Great eternal fame for you. 150,000 dead in Warsaw's uprising. So many unfortunates. While you held your army at the border, refused your airfields to allied fighters who stood ready to help, allowed them to be slaughtered. That any survived at all was an act of God. There you see, something to ponder on. The last of our resistance decimated by the Germans while you watched them slaughtered. Entering Poland only when it was over, when we had nothing left with which to resist. I am a soldier, Your Excellency, <clears throat> not a politician. It was an act of calculated ruthlessness. I am charged in my position not to involve myself in any cause of conflict between Rome and my government. I am not talking about Rome. I am talking about Poland. Burned cities, plundered fields, the murdered, the strangled. I appreciate your sorrow for our victims. I am describing Russia. I cannot take account of that as long as you would use it to justify the destruction of my people. Thank you for the courtesy of your visit, Marshal. Excellency. We are both soldiers, taking orders from very far away.
morning. Don't you recognize me? No. Perhaps you'd refresh my memory. Wojtyła, Karol Wojtyła. I studied philology with you just before the war. And now you're a priest? No. Oh, no. I'm a seminarian. They just gave us these clothes to wear. I'll be enrolling in theology when the university reopens. Some of us have volunteered to tidy up the library first. I've... I've been away. Yes, sir, I know. Off like three in a neat small German town. Anyway, the point is, have you a place to stay? I've availed myself of an invitation from some students. Number six, Spitalna Street. Perhaps you'd show me where that is. sympathetic faces, as polite as ever. They showed me the way here. They're honest. Think of them with respect. I think of them with pity and spite. We've all been through a terrible ordeal, but it is still the same country as before. It's a country full of people crazy with hunger. Look, that's what we have for all of us. I thought there was nothing else I wanted in life, but there is. I want revolution. Everything thrown out. These problems are with us all. Rome comes now. The Black Madonna, protector of Poland. Do you expect this country's misery to fade away because of that poor woman? It's still the same country. Because it has the same name. Go and look in the marketplace.
shot or imprisoned is not what you are training for. I know your feelings, but you cannot fight them with piety and the righteousness of your position. The strength of our country is sapped. You will, all of you, in your time, have your confrontation. Not yet! about what you are. Mm. He needs a more stable atmosphere to flex his intellect. I have nobody left in Rome now. All my old colleagues are dead. I'll send him to study there when he's ordained. We beseech that you will bless this chosen one that you may bless and sanctify this chosen one. We beseech you hear us. That you may bless and sanctify and consecrate this chosen one. We beseech you hear us. Receive power to say Mass and to offer sacrifice to God for both the living and the dead.
After all these years, how is Rome? Wonderful, wonderful. It flew by. Oh, Dr. <laughs> Voitiwa, look at him. <laughs> Come on, the Cardinal's waiting for you. How is he? Well, you haven't seen him since he was made a Cardinal. You'll be surprised. I hear he won't wear the scarlet robe. Not so long as my people are suffering, he says. We must build the church into a force they must accept. We cannot withhold confrontation any longer. Communism is growing by the day. Force them to accept the church. Come. Eminence, Father Voyager. I want you to meet this one. Eminence. Well, well, God bless you. What a joy. Father Carol Voyager, may I? Bishop Stefan Wyszynski from Warsaw. Excellency. Each day would be so filled. And yes, touring France and Belgium on the way home, what one can achieve by the grace of God and one's own awareness under the grace of God. Somewhat difficult to apply in our circumstances here in Poland. News of what's been happening here filtered through. It was difficult to know the truth. The government has arrested 400 priests. Where are they? Some in prisons, some in labor camps in Siberia. Religious education in schools is forbidden. Teachers forcibly re-educated. Catholic printing works suspended. No public meetings. The churches are still open. Oh, yes, they allow the churches for the moment. They are trying by the arrests to intimidate our priests into serving their purpose. Surely the Vatican... There's a growing expression here in Poland. God is in heaven, the Vatican very far away, and Moscow just across the border. In coffee houses in Rome, you hear them talking, the students. Russia impresses them. Well, here we are threatened with trial and execution for espionage and immorality. We must combat it. The righteousness of our position is our weapon. Forgive me for disagreeing. These are facts, all clearly beyond dispute. A well-formed ideology like communism can confuse the fact. Don't let's start that. Our life here is being reduced to an absurdity. Don't our young priests understand that? How do I serve? The young. We are losing the young. Victor! That must be the taxi! Mm. What do you know about him, Father? He's been at Niegowice for one year. It was his first appointment. Cardinal Zapieha is said to be bringing him along. I don't care much for young priests. This one's bound to be elegant, at least. Mother of God! I'm Father Waitua. Delightful. It's perfect for me. What about you? What ambitions have you for yourself, Victor? Coal. Coal? Why coal? Because it serves the objective interest of the masses. Thank you, Victor. Father.
Victor. Victor. We're only nine. Someone's missing. Magda! Come on, Mr. Get out that way. Magda! Magda! I went to find mushrooms. Mushrooms? Did you find any? No. No. Oh, well, we'll find some tomorrow. I'll show you how. Mm. Now, we have a bit of a problem. It's getting dark. We might not find our camp. But there was a road back there. That must lead somewhere. OK, get there, rucksack. And, Victor, count noses. I didn't see you leave the group. Neither did I. Good evening. I'm a priest. We were walking in the hills. We got caught in darkness. Wondered if you could put us up for the night. Uh, here's my identification. Be grateful the father isn't here to see you. I could tell you what he would have to say. Look at those children. They can sleep in the barn. I wondered if I could prevail upon you, sir. What now? Well, I'm used to fasting, but these young people... All asleep, eh? Then, if you sleep, you won't get any bread and cheese. <laughs> so, first, first, we must give thanks to God. Come on, now, all. Get in a circle. Come on, around. Kneel down. Hold hands down. That's it. Victor? Are you going to join us? You can say what you want to say, but we'd like you to join us. You tell me there is a God. My teachers tell me there isn't. Somebody else tells me my duty is to God. Somebody else calls on ready-made truths for simpletons. I know. You think I'm ridiculous? No, I don't. I think you're discovering the world. And that can be very painful. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we receive from thy bounty. Amen. God doesn't demand the impossible of us. And we do what we can, and he accepts us. By this are we an object of God's will. But what if not God's will? Whose, then? The loneliness of the disbeliever who neither believes nor hopes for life beyond the present, who willfully shuts out God from his heart. You might well ask whether this world he lives in brought him disbelief, or did his disbelief bring him to the world he 
lives in. Father! Father! Father, please, quickly! They're asking for you. It cannot stop here. Yeah. And you will begin your lectureship at the university next month. It's just that I can't imagine not carrying out pastoral work anymore. Cardinal Sapieha has He's gone. God grant him eternal rest. The primate of Poland is now Archbishop Wyszynski. We need our best men fully trained to preserve the unity of the church. It is time to act, to be ready to take on the communists in the fight for the nation's soul. The rector is expecting me. Yes, I began to worry. I stopped to get the papers. The stands are half sold out already. Yes, I heard. It's on the radio. Where is the cardinal? Well, he is always with the students. But if the prime objective in Pope John's mind was that of Christian unity in calling for Vatican Council, why did it broaden the dialogue to unbelievers? The longing for Christian unity is accompanied by a longing for unity among the human race. Our relation to other religions, yes, but atheism... Give it a rest, old chap. There's even wider scope for dialogue with unbelievers, don't you think? Especially important today, as atheism and unbelief constitute a mass phenomenon as never before in history. Ah! Uh, see, they've come to drag me away. Yes, eh? What have they brought me? Cake? But no champagne. <laughs> Because you are leaving, Father, and we're all feeling sad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. This will always be your home, and we will always be waiting for you. Don't worry. I'll be back. Il Vaticano, per favore. Wonderful minds, those students. Redak, did you hear him, his understanding of ecumenism? Are you looking at me? as if I'm supposed to answer a question. You haven't heard. Cardinal Siri, God knows what he's up to. He gave an interview on condition that it be not published until the Cardinal's conclave tomorrow. The reporter realized that it was dynamite and informed Cardinal Benelli, who apparently urged him to break the embargo and publish the interview today. Now, according to this, Siri said unkind things about John Paul's inauguration address also about the Vatican Secretary of State. He said the idea of collegiality of the bishops was not to be taken seriously. Whatever serious chances were, he's likely finished himself off. The question is, how damaging is it to Benelli for embarrassing Syria and further politicizing the conclave? Book me on the first flight possible back to Krakow after the conclave ends, will you hear you?
Yeah. Uh, I heard you arrived. Just now. Critique of Political Economy by Karl Marx. Something to read during the voting. Isn't that heretical? <laughs> I think I'm quite safe. Well, you were always interested in the other's point of view. What do you think? Do you expect a foreign pope? What is it they say? There are no foreigners in the church. I shan't live to go through this again, my friend. You thought that before. <laughs> If it's offered to you, will you ask to think this over, too? Father Wojtyla? I'm Father Wojtyla. I'll take you back across the lake. Bishop Bajak is waiting for you. I'll get my things. Since his early days as a priest, he's inspired affection and respect among young people. The young? <laughs> Seems his everlasting subject. He holds the attitudes of this generation. He's interested in their affairs and their problems. They see him as exceptional. Come in. Rana. Eminence. Excellency. We had some difficulty tracking you down. I was in the mountains with my group. What is it you do there? Hiking, uh, canoeing, comradeship. We pray, say the rosary and sing hymns. Discussion and argument. You don't find that more appropriate inside a church? Some of them find it easier to understand God in the mountains. Sit down, Father. Now, you are aware since Bishop Rospont's death this summer, the names of various successors have been mooted. The Pope has nominated you to take his place. Do you accept? You know the Holy Father doesn't like to be refused. I would like to think about it. May I ask why? May I remind you, Father, Cardinal Fashinsky has recommended you. You are his choice. Also that he and nearly a thousand others, priests and bishops, fought this government, went to prison, that we might have the right to promote church leaders. I think there will be no church in Poland today without your leadership and sacrifices last we ten years. We are all of us instruments of God. But to be isolated from the people at the parish level, please, that's not as frivolous as it sounds. I feel I offer them inspiration. My dear young friend, we are living in a brief period of struggle without fear. Stalin's death, dear God, has opened the gate to it, as it did to myself. But for how long? 
Our attention must be to put pressure on this government through public demonstration and devotion. That is the inspiration. But a truly informed and articulate Catholicism might be more dangerous to the government than banner-waving crowds. All that we need behind us is the simple godliness of the people. Our youth has been brought up in a society which openly despises religious values. It's imperative that we show them by our presence and personal dialogues. He is the good shepherd who gives his life for his sheep. Your flock is the diocese. Accept it as the cross you must bear. Don't let anyone get on your back. <laughs> the prophet Samuel anointed the king and prophet David. So mayest thou be anointed and sanctified. Receive the staff of the shepherd as a sign of your office and watch over the herd for whom the Holy Spirit has called you to serve. Receive the ring as a sign of your fidelity. Preserve the Holy Church, the Bride of God, and be true to your faith. Novohuta, the Lenin plant, apartment structures, gymnasiums, everything provided for the objective interest of the new socialist man. Organization of individual efforts, respect for physical energy, recreation, achievement, emancipation from religion. Site for the new school. Why is that standing there? The reactionary influences among some of the workers. They demand a church. Regrettably, officials to silence the matter agreed to it. The workers have put up the cross as a site that it's to be built in that field. Who's the clerical authority there? His name is Wojtyla. He was made bishop two years ago. Very young, has a worker's background. The intellectuals have embraced him, but no important connections. Some of the priests in his own curia, in fact, don't think very much of him. Wastes too much time with the students, they say. What's his history with us? Rarely provocative. Leaves politics to Vizinski and others. Take down the cross. <laughs> That's why the 
do it again. We'll stop it again. If they do it, we'll build another. I know. Yeah. I feel jealous of those Jews. The ones we helped in the war. At least for them, it was not far to go now. Soon be over. Whether it was true or not, at least they had that to hope for. I lived through the past. Because we meant to change it. Remember? Who is this man of Oitio? Who's ever heard of him? Get him on the phone. I attempted, Minister Skazinski. Attempted? I explained I was calling from the Office of Church Affairs. He said, how can I talk to someone who doesn't recognize that we exist? He hung up. Well, try him again. Good, we're all here. Father Yanto, Father Mozek, Mr. Skarzynski, Minister for Church Affairs. You are to speak with us, Mr. Skarzynski. I'm in receipt, if correct. Uh, here, yes. Your announcement for the Corpus Christi Day procession. Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. The day we celebrate the institution of the Blessed Sacrament. You have suggested that the procession proceed by the old traditional route from Babel Castle to the marketplace, around four altars in the old square. As has been the custom for centuries. Last year, the procession was limited to the castle courtyard. Yes. That seemed satisfactory to you, as the year before that. The people miss their traditions. They should not be denied them, you understand. <sighs> Respectfully, I must refuse your request. It would bring all of the traffic to a standstill for hours. Uh, shops, factories along the route would be empty. I've always discouraged the concept that the church has the right to dictate to those who do not share its beliefs. There we are. The unbelievers should stay in their factories that day. I'm aware, unless misinformed, that you also have a feeling for the realities of power in Poland today. Coexistence with the government is a reality, Mr. Skarzynski. So is consistency of position. To violate consistency is to lose credibility. You and I are committed to credibility. But consistency must be reciprocal. Nothing is not consistent. Then I have misread events. And we may celebrate the breaking of ground for the church at Nova Huta as it was promised. Site is for a new school. Another site will do as well. It is part of the government's celebration of the Polish millennium, a thousand new schools for each of the thousand years. I move the government celebrates the millennium. It is our commitment to the people. Especially as it celebrates a thousand years of Polish Christianity. There's no money for churches. Till there is, leave the cross. The matter is political. Churches are political. Cardinal Wyszynski has politicized the church. Constant provocations. Processions carrying banners proclaiming the Virgin alone is Queen of Poland. The Corpus Christi procession is political. It has become political. We cannot discuss political matters. Then how could I call off the procession? I can't discuss it. It's out of my hand. And if the cross were to remain standing, Bishop Poitier? And the matter were no longer political. Well, then we'd be free to discuss the procession, Mr. Skarzynski. Vision 
Kinsk is taking him to the council in Rome. He could return much better known. Hmm. Better known or not, he'll never say a mass from this place. red socks. I'm sorry, Father Gora. Everything has just gone into the washer. Thank you, sister. There's not a pair of red socks to be had in the whole of Rome. I thought I had everything. Cassock, Succhetto, Roquette. Who could remember red socks? Ad honore Dei Onipotentis, et i Santorum Apostolorum Petri et i Pauli, tibi comitimus titulum Sant e Maria, in nome di Patri et di Figlio et di Spirito e Santo. Amen. Ad honorem Deo Onipotentis, et i Santorum Apostolorum, Petri et i Pauli, tibi comitimus titulum Santi e Marcella, in nomine Patris et i Figli et i Spiritui Santi. Amen. Ad honorem Deo Onipotentis, et i Santorum Apostolorum, Petri et i Pauli, Tibi comitimus titulum Sant e Marcel. In nome di Patri e di Figlio e di Spirito e Santo. Amen. Czechoslovakian. Have I skied across the border? Papers, papers. What's going on here? Look what this idiot's done. He's stolen the cardinal's papers. Your eminence? I left my friends. Went over my own. I must have lost direction. Yes, you can find your way back this way. It's two kilometers. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Idiot. stones than last week. Uh, they're bringing them from everywhere. The fields, the streams. The walls will be weatherproof. Yeah, pulleys. We need them badly. In 
inventing obstacles, are you? Ah, I haven't noticed any shortage of obstacles. Twenty-five years ago, you'd have carried those stones yourself. Ah, Twenty-five years ago, we both would have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you some seven that in. Have a meeting of the seminary faculty at four. I want to go to the institute first. Get the meeting started. You can send the car back for me. How much longer can the government let us go on with it? What can they do? Tear it down? Arouse the people to mass demonstrations? They fear that more than they fear the church. They fear Moscow more than either one. Students and intellectuals are chafing at their lack of freedoms. The workers are demanding fairer wages. We continue to push for churches and religious education in schools. The government's not going to let us turn Poland into a Czechoslovakia and have the Russian move in their tanks. Something's going to happen, Carol. They're being pushed to the limit. Ah, oh, Carol, at last. A play was presented in Warsaw last week. It protested Russian atrocities in Poland 150 years ago. Packed houses, standing ovations, the government's taking it off the stage. The students and academics are in an uproar. They're coming onto the street. <laughs> where we allow the government to dictate what we will and will not speak against. It is our turn to get the better of the argument. You cannot force the regime into a situation from which its only escape is violence. There will be no violence. The regime doesn't want violence. They wait only to see what the workers will do. The workers will join us. This is Poland's rebellion. You're fighting for ideas, not bread. The workers will not see this as their quarrel. That's arrogant and stupid. Please. We've waited years for this day. You cannot, must not force them to the wall. Sacked and arrested teachers. All chance of promotions blocked forever. They've expelled students, career opportunities, ruined. What is it you're asking, Eminence? You are my fellow bishops. The range of respect for you has no equal in Poland. I ask that we announce our support for these students and academics. Cardinal Wyszynski, I understand, has refused to lend support. Many of these people have been outspoken critics of the church. As they have of the government. They are disillusioned with the party. Am I not correct that many are Jews? The government uses that to deflect attention from the real issues. The wiser course, it would seem, would be to um, stay neutral. I 
ironic. Hmm. That all over Poland there are riots by non-Catholics protesting the lack of freedoms that we so want for ourselves. And we would stay neutral? Then we are neutral in our own cause. It is intolerable that public institutions which belong to the whole nation should be used for the benefit of one philosophy, of a single political orientation. It is intolerable that membership of a political organization is the price that people have to pay for their existence, for their place in society. Now, it is accused in our own Catholic journals that there is a crisis in the church because others of us do not accept the liberal view of things. There is no crisis except that which exists in the minds of certain Catholic intellectuals. Comrade Kamuka. Ah, come in, Skalinski. I will say everything to the end. Don't interrupt me. Cardinal Wyszynski has complained bitterly to the Pope that the Krakow intellectuals are a threat to the Church. Cardinal Wojtowa, however, has persuaded the Pope that they are vital to its health. What do you think about that? You look down at your hands. I'm not quite certain what to think, Comrade Secretary. Wyszynski went for Wojtowa in public. Wyszynski went for certain articles written about him in the Catholic papers, Comrade Secretary. There is no crisis except that which exists in the minds of certain Catholic intellectuals. But the two cardinals are very close, Comrade Secretary. Not philosophically. It's true that they came to power during different periods, but... Wojtowa is a Democrat. Wyszynski is an autocrat who doesn't trust intellectuals. No. So there are differences. Yes. Which could be exploited. Fortier has always been uniquely loyal to Wyszynski, Comrade Secretary. Still, if Wyszynski could be embarrassed by Wojtyla... You shake your head. You would never dare to insult Wyszynski, Comrade Secretary. If we cannot split the two of them, we can certainly split one. Wojtyla. No further work at Nova Huta will be permitted. Workers are warned they are no longer to volunteer their time to build the church. Workers are required to work on Sundays hereafter in factories. Sundays belong to us. No one has the right to deprive us of our Sundays. You are neither to attend nor conduct or sponsor services at the site. The church is not to be completed. It would seem that uh, before man can achieve his earthly paradise, he must first be deprived of the strength he finds in Christ. That would be a formidable defeat. <laughs> Perhaps, uh, this is my private thought, at a later time. There will be a mass this Sunday at Nova Huta. We have brought things to a point that I fear to think about. The people have been warned they are not to attend. Warning. Do they, in that one word, win the battle for our souls? I'm afraid of it. I fear that no one will come. 
Nikolai. Fear only poor weather. In Poland, seeks no authority other than to bear witness to the truth about God and about man. That a man who walks with Christ is free to acknowledge his companion. That he should not have to deny that Christ is with him. It is sometimes said that there is to be a second Poland, but there is only one Poland. And if there is to be a second one, it must spring from the first. It must not deny any element of our national and cultural heritage. The city of Nova Huta was built as a city without God. But the will of God and the workers here will prevail. Let us take this lesson to heart. This is not merely a building. These are living stones.
longer Karl Marx. No. Tomorrow we'll break tradition with 400 years. It won't be an Italian. There will be a sudden surge of support for you in the morning. The signals will be clear. You will be elected before the day is over. Now, there is something that I need to say for myself. I have tried to see the rightness of your positions. I don't. And yet, as Holy Father, all positions must be embraced. Can you do that? Can you embrace all factions of the church? Can you do it with all faith and with good heart? Because I could not. That is what I wanted to say. accept We ask him who has been elected not to refuse the office to which he has been elected for fear of its weight, but to submit himself humbly to the divine will. For God in Conferring the burden sustains him with his hand, lest he be unequal to bearing it. God also, in bestowing the heavy task upon him, helps him to accomplish it. And in giving him the dignity, he grants also the strength, lest in his weakness he should fall beneath the burden of his office. I come from a church which has suffered much for the faith. I have been part of that suffering. Now you ask me to accept even greater suffering as supreme pastor of that church. I accept because of my reverence, love and devotion to John Paul and also to Paul VI, who was my inspiration and my strength. I shall take the name John Paul. Avemis Baba!
Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, we are still grieved by the death of our beloved Pope John Paul I. And now the eminent cardinals have called for a new Bishop of Rome. They have called him from a faraway country, far away yet close because of our communion in the faith and tradition of the church. I was afraid to accept that responsibility, yet I do so in the spirit of obedience to our Lord Jesus Christ and total confidence in Mary, his most holy mother. I do not know if I can express myself in your, in our Italian language. If I make mistakes, you will correct me. significant decision by the conclave of cardinals has caused great satisfaction here in Poland. For the first time in history, the papal throne is occupied by a son of the Polish nation, a nation warmly promoting cooperation and friendship between all peoples, a nation, may I say, which has visibly contributed to the development of human culture as a whole. That is an official statement. You may release it. No photo of the Pope in our papers wider than one column. And no headlines on a papal story wider than two. The cardinals who have come to Rome from all over the world are now in procession here in St. Peter's Square on this beautifully sunny day to greet and congratulate the new Pope. For the first time in over 400 years, the Bishop of Rome is a non-Italian. Here is Cardinal Willibrands from Holland exchanging greetings with Pope John Paul II. At the age of 58, this is the youngest pope for more than a century and the first pope ever to come from an eastern country. And now, Cardinal Salazar from Mexico. Coming up next is Stefan Cardinal Wyszynski. <laughs> 